not last year, the year before, the year before that, and the year, 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 year before that, we go to a place on the East Coast. Uh, we used to go to Alton Broad, Alton Broad. And you go down the, down the coast, and there's a brewery there called Ad Nams, right? Ad Nams. Not Adams, Ad Nams. And uh, they do some really good beers. It's, um, they, do, they don't mess about. They just do proper good beer. And um, they've actually got one out, a Christmas one, at uh, Marx's. Really good, really good. Proper ale. In fact, I've got to go there soon to get some for that. And um, anyway, I was walking around Tesco's, as you do. What are you doing? And um, I've seen a bottle of this. It's a uh, broadside commemorating the Battle of Sol Bay, 1672. It's a strong, original, alcoholic, and it's 6.3 in volume. Now, there's the bottle. Okay, folks, uh, add nams. Get that. I've got to do something about this light. What, is, what are we going to do? Does this make any difference? That might make a bit of difference. Shine it up. Let it shine. Right. Southwold, that's it. And I tell you something else in Southwold. There's a bloody brilliant chip shop. Hell of a chip shop. And I tell you what, if you go down to near, oh, well, there's a one called Mrs. T's as well. That's a really good chip shop uh, near uh, Lowestoft. Really, really good. Um, so anyway, uh, Broadside is brewed to commemorate the Battle of Sol Bay, 1672. This dark ruby red beer is full of fruit cake flavours and is great saviour with some strong cheddar. I'm doing this wrong. I should have some cheddar. Never mind. Um, the rest of it's all in foreign. Yeah, it's all in foreign. So that's it, basically. It's just to commemorate the Battle of uh, Sol Bay. Shall we have a look at the uh, the galaxy and see um, Sol Bay, see what it's about? I'm probably doing something, celebrating something completely bad, and I shouldn't be even talking about it. Sol Bay. Oh, God. Sol Bay Battle. Right. Uh, the Navy Battle of Sol Bay took place on the 28th of May, old style, 7th. June New Style. What the hell's that all about? Um, and was the first naval battle of the Third Anglo-Dutch War. The battle ended inconclusively with both sides claiming victory. What the bloody hell's all that about? Where did it take place then? Location, Sol Bay. Well, where is Sol Bay? Let's have a look. Sol Bay. Oh, it is Southwell itself, it's small town. Well, wow. oh, that's why they've got all their bloody cannons on the side. I tell you what, it's really good there, Southwell. It's, it's really, really good. I tell you, folks, if anybody is, is out that way, down Lower Stoff, or um, there's a few other places there, um, it's got to be worth a visit. They've got all these beach huts down the front and a uh, nice little pier. Uh, they do some lovely ice creams. It's really, really good. We are, we're going back uh, next year. We're going back next year, folks. Uh, there. It's great. So, let's, uh, let's pop this one then, shall we? Not long now, folks. Um, I've ordered a new bottle opener. It's on its way. It's uh, it's on its way thanks to British Mail. So it'll probably be about June. Now that is a ruby beer, isn't it? Oh, look at that! Now I tell you, who'd like that? My old man. No, and that is not a term for my Willie. It's my dad. I'm on about. He'd like that. He likes them dark kind of beers. I might get him one for Christmas. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's lovely. See, I tell you what, right, folks. Years and years and years ago, when I was growing up, about 30 odd years, 35 years ago, and you were discovering drinks, I wouldn't have even looked at that. I wouldn't have even took a bit of second notice of it. 
I'd have probably called it Adams's because I'd have spelt it wrong in my head. Um, and I thought, oh, that's a nice pretty bottle cover or something like that. And then that's it. I'd have gone straight onto a Carlin 4X, something like that, lager or Strongbow. Gone and necked about 12 pints of that. Gone outside, gone up the chip shop, then gone down the Chinese and whatever. Gone home and threw up all over the living room. Um, but... As I'm getting older, I'm getting a different taste of beers and stuff. Um, I don't know whether it's my palate's becoming used to more uh, kind of uh, accustomed to older, to more mature stuff. I don't honestly know. But this is an absolutely wonderful taste of pale ale or whatever it is. Is it pale ale? It just tastes nice. It's got a nice warm feeling as it's going down. It is a bit fruity. It, you can taste a bit of fruit in it. It is absolutely lovely. Southwold Adams's never, ever fail to deliver. They never, ever do. I mean, look at that. That's got a lovely, perfect head. And like I've always said, you've got to have good head on your drink. And... They do it. They do it every time. Adams, they just, I don't know. And I'll tell you what, folks, they've got, a, they've got the brewery down there. And next year, um, even if the, the wife and the child do not want to go, I am bloody going because it's just great. It, they, it, they just know how to produce a decent drink. It's lovely. Look at that, how it sticks around the side of the glass. It is in the same, it is in the same mould as a pint of Guinness. It's got that Guinnessy flavoury taste. It's got that texture to it that's, you, you could imagine, I mean, in the past, we used to go to the cricket. Oh, I used to go to the cricket, but that's still there, I suppose. And uh, it's something like where you, you, you drink about 15 pints of Guinness during the day or so. And then you wouldn't be drunk. You'd be just full it, because it'd be like eating a meal every time. I think I've said this before on a, on a different review. And uh, this is what that is. It's like, uh, it's, it's the same kind of thing as Guinness. Or, or as a mild or as a stout, that kind of thing. That is lovely. It's uh, a good thing about adults is, well, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a drank all their beers. But a lot of them are putting these citrus things in. And I'm getting a bit bored with these citrus things being put into pale ales and stuff. And, um, well, Adams is still do proper, proper beer. I never knew that were called Soul Bay at Southwold. And we've been going there for eight years or so. Never knew that. Unbelievable, isn't it? It's just goes to show sometimes that when you're being dragged around by a Labradoodle who's trying to eat everybody's ice creams who he's walking by. Um, you don't take any notice. But the Battle of Soul Bay. So that's really good. So I'm going to finish this off, folks, to be fair, because this is too bloody good to waste. I'm not going to let the wife have a taste. So it's really good. So like I say, folks, if you're ever out that way on the East Coast, uh, go and have a look at Southwold. Um, it really is one of the lovely parts of the country. Um, they have got lots of stuff going off there. Oh, pocket's got. Um, they have got some lovely things out there, and it is just great. If you're only out there, just go for the day or so. Um, but make sure it is the complete day. They've got a lovely beach at the top end, but when the tide's in, it's, it is in. There's not a lot of and that. But, uh, and the beach does get packed, but it's a nice sandy beach. It does get busy. And we've got, you know, it's just a nice, leisurely, old, towny, worldy kind of thing. The shops are good. Um, they're all there. It's just there. And they've got some lovely pubs as well. So, and in fact, Adams is, have got their own pub there. Um, have they got their own pub there? I know the bar was full of Adams' beer. But it's really nice. It's just really good. They are really good. They're good, aren't they? And I'll tell you what, folks, please, please do try this and let me know what you think as well, because I think 
if you're a proper drinker, and I don't mean that as a uh, uh, disrespectful term that you only drink lager or whatever, or you can drink 23 pints of something. No, I mean, if you drink uh, these kind of beers, on t- I wonder what that tastes like on tap. Ooh, can't wait for the blooming June. Get there. That is awesome. And you don't leave a dodgy taste on your mouth either after you've after you've had it. It's just really nice. Oh, mind you, what's that? Six point three. Put your glasses on so I can read it. Six point three, folks. 6.3, that's quite a strong bit, and you can taste the strongness in it. It's there, it's got some full body, it's got a lovely flavour, it's nice and warm going down, it's not gassy, it's just a real decent pint of uh, bottle of beer. If you had it in a pub, it would be in a pint, but it's just a real nice pint. That, you know when I go on about stocking fillers or hampers, that would be ideal. If your dad drinks this kind of beer, your granddad, your brother, your mum, your dad, uh, your mum, your dad, your mum, your sister, your granny, or whatever. If they drink this kind of beer, get them a bottle of this, and uh, they'll they'll like this. They'll think it's bloody brilliant. <sighs> drink this last bit, ladies. <laughs>